Hi guys, this is uh, Cutting Edge Machines in Cromlington. Um, right, this is a little gas bottle barbecue that I've made. Um, quite straightforward to make actually. Um, <laughs> obviously, you need a, an old gas bottle. Make sure it's empty um, before you start cutting into it. Um, do this at your own risk. But if, if if you handle them correctly, um, you shouldn't have any problems with them. Um, with this one, I just used obviously a bit of angle iron for the legs, which I've welded on. Um, <laughs> an old exhaust off a car, which I've welded in, as you can see. Just open it up. Inside we have got some more angle iron welded in and a grate on the top of there. And now with this one, I'll show that. With this one, we normally put like a small frying pan in, um, which is great. Um, works really well. At the front, I have a door here to open up to put the, the fuel in. Um, it hasn't got a vent on because it really doesn't really need one um, because of all the gaps around your doors and what have you. Um, but there it is. The next project is a chimney, which I'll show you in a second. Hi, guys, this is Sean from Cutting Edge Machines, crumbling in. Right, this is the chimney, or chimney, or chimney, or whatever you want to call the damn things. Um, an old gas bottle that I found discarded, um, empty of course, and then I've cut into it, I've marked it out, cut into it, as you can see, the two doors at the front, two lower doors at the bottom, the upper doors are going to be for obviously putting the um, the fuel in um, wood or whatever you want to burn in it the lower doors they're going to be for storage um, and in between roughly around about here inside I will be putting in a shelf um, to separate the two the two um, the up and lower part uh, of the bottle and this little section here, I was going to put a vent in there, um, but we'll see how it goes. I might put it somewhere else. Um, I've already cut the top off. I will be cutting this out where the valve went. I'll be putting a rather large, probably van exhaust pipe in there um, as a flue. Uh, I think it should work quite well. Um, the doors will be hinged, obviously, and behind the doors, I think I will put like a metal mesh uh, just to stop any of the burning timbers falling back out. But it should be nice when it's all done. I'll be all rubbed down and painted black, and it should be great. Um, I must say this, the valves, great little tool for getting the valves out, I'll show you, I'll just go across here, this thing here, a bit of scaffolding, two slots cutting it, bit of pole, weld it to the, the scaffolding, works an absolute treat for getting them valves out. Because them valves are tight, you might see on YouTube people just hitting them with hammers and things like that and chisels. <laughs> yeah, right. They're in tight and they're in with like a, a thread lock as well. So they're very difficult to get out. So there we go. Always remember when you're doing this sort of project, make sure the gas bottle's empty, fill it with water to the top. I just normally leave it a couple of days with water in. Kick it over, drain the water out, and um, that's pretty much it, really. But that's, it's up to you how you do it. 
Okay, this is Cutting Edge. Till the next time, see you later.